Here are my top 10 most anticipated films for the rest of the year. I did an anticipated film at the beginning of the year and most of the films that were in that have already been and gone. So here are my top 10 for the rest of the year. I'm gonna go through these pretty snappy, I don't wanna bore you with the plot and descriptions and everything like that because you probably already know the film. I'm here to just give you a quick reason as to why these are in my top 10. I should also add that I am gonna go by American release because some of the films that I'm going to mention in this video don't come out until next year for us English folk. Sucks to be English, great to be American. <laughs> so I'm just going to go by American release here. So I'm going to also give you the American and the English release date for all wide audiences. So I'm just going to give you some honourable mentions and that is Horrible Bosses 2 just purely because I loved the first film. A Walk Among the Tombstones just because of Liam Neeson and Into the Woods because it's a musical. In at number 10 is Unbroken. Reasons why I want to watch this film is directed by Angelina Jolie. How cool is that? It's written by the Coen brothers and it's got Jack O'Connell, Donald Gleeson and Garrett Hedlund in this film. That makes me one very happy girl. Now in England it's released on Boxing Day and Americans get the, <laughs> get the luxury of it being released on Christmas Day. In at number 9 is Gone Girl. This is directed by David Fincher and stars Ben Affleck and that's the reason why I want to watch it. It's directed by David Fincher and the trailer is just awesome. And luckily this is released on the 3rd of October for both England and America. Whoop whoop! Number eight is Kingsman The Secret Service. I'm very interested in this one purely because it's directed by Matthew Vaughan and because it stars Colin Firth. It's got all these acting veterans. We've got Samuel Jackson, Michael Caine, Mark Strong against all these newcomers and I'm very interested in the James Bond aspect of it all. So it should be a good one. Should be fun, action packed. Um, just who doesn't love Colin Firth? The UK get this one first as it's released 17th of October, but unfortunately others are gonna have to wait as the release date is February 2015. Number seven is The Judge. Purely wanna watch this film just to see Robert Downey Jr. having an act off with Billy Bob Thornton. It's released 24th of October in England and America get it that little bit early with it being the 10th of October. And at number six is The Imitation Game. Now, I mentioned this in my most anticipated films of 2014 and it didn't have a release date and I told everyone I was sweating at the fact that I didn't know whether it was going to be released this year and it is so I'm very excited. This is the true story of Alan Turing and it stars Benedict Cumberbatch. It's another chance for Benedict to show how amazing he is as an actor. It's released the 14th of November in the UK and the 21st of November in the USA. In at number five is Kill the Messenger. I purely want to see this just for the cast alone. We've got Jeremy Renner, we've got Robert Patrick, we've got Michael Sheen, we've got loads of other people in this. It is jam-packed full of great actors, so I'm very excited. The UK will get to see this on the 28th of November, but others are lucky enough to catch it on the 10th of October. Number four is Exodus, Gods and Kings. Ridley Scott, excellent director so I cannot wait to see what he has done with this film and it stars Joel Egerton as an Egyptian king. I couldn't ask for anything more. So England get this on Boxing Day and America get this on the 12th of December. In at number three is Foxcatcher. Everyone who's everyone is out for an Oscar in this film. They're all like, get out the way. It's gonna be me who gets this Oscar. They're all out for their Oscar nominations. You've got Channing Tatum getting more serious and Steve Carell. It's just excellent to see them in this kind of film. So I'm very excited to see them get serious. Unfortunately, us poor souls in the UK have to wait until January 2015 to see this. <laughs> but Americans get this in November. In at number two is Birdman. I'm so excited for this. I love Michael Keaton. He is amazing. He can do serious, he can do eccentric, and I think these two roles are just being put together. It's about a guy who used to play a superhero and he was this big, big movie star, but now he's sort of a washout. So it's gonna be very reminiscent of his days when he played Batman and I can't wait to see that. Uh, have his own truths put into this role and it just looks 
incredible it's just the trailer alone just makes it so appealing so I cannot wait but I have to wait until January 2015 to see this <laughs> the ones I'm most excited for I have to wait forever it seems like so long <laughs> But Americans are lucky because they get to see this in October. In at number one, which was my number one for most anticipated films of 2014, is Interstellar. Now this is directed by Christopher Nolan and stars Matthew McConaughey. I just purely love Christopher Nolan. I've been a big fan since Memento and I love The Prestige. I just think the whole film looks beautiful and it's just a very interesting concept as it is. So yes, I'm excited. It's my number one film. And the most exciting part of it is it gets a worldwide release. Everyone pretty much gets this on the 7th of November. So yes, we all get to watch it at the same time, how it should be. So there you have it, that's my top 10 anticipated films for the rest of the year. Please do put your top 10 in the box below. Let me know if you agree with some of mine or if you completely disagree, let me know and we'll compare and contrast and have a good chat. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.